where tonight, the nation's top-ranked team, the UNLV Running Rebels, take on the ever-dangerous University of California at Irvine Anteaters under veteran coach Bill Mulligan. Jerry Tarkanian's team has a perfect record, 11-0, while the UCI Anteaters are 5-4. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority and by Royal West Airlines. This game is an exclusive of United International Productions. Dick J. Manoogian, executive producer. Ladies and gentlemen, may I welcome you to the opening game of the PC2A season. For the last four years, the UNLV Running Rebels have won the league. Last year, the second place team was the University of California at Irvine under Bill Mulligan. Their record was 12 and 6. But the biggest accomplishment that any team has had in years is the fact that the Anteaters came in here and handed the Rebels one of the two losses they've ever suffered in this building. The other was to Georgetown. And on the other hand, two weeks later, they went down to their own building and beat the Rebels down there too. So that means that they handed the Rebels two of the five losses that the running guys had all year. Jerry Tarkanian and his club, ranked number one in the land, haven't forgotten it for one iota. Billy Mulligan smiles and said, hey, if I can give my good friend Tark a couple of restless nights, I'm glad to do that. It's going to be a running game, I think. Listen to this. The running Rebels average 94 points a game. The Anteaters average 92 points a game. Between them, the clubs average 33 three-point shots attempted per game. So you know we're going to have a lot of excitement and a lot of fun. The nation's number one team, of course, is a target for everybody in the land to try to knock off. The running Rebels have looked very, very good as they have moved their record to an awe-inspiring 11-0. They have done it with great skill. They've done it with determination. I believe it's the hardest-working team at the college level that I have ever seen, both offensively and defensively. They're quick. They're skilled. They know their roles. They can play as a unit. They can play individually. But they do like to run. So do the Anteaters and Billy Mulligan's club this year has been slowed down in the second half particularly. And just the other night, they had at that time number three ranked Iowa beaten at the half. Iowa came back second half, slowed it down, and indeed did defeat by a couple of points the Anteaters. So tonight, they said to Tark, are you going to slow it down? Tark Ania said, no way, baby. We're going to run and run and run. I said to Mulligan, are you going to slow it down? He said, hey. Are there any potatoes in Mulligan stew? I said, yeah. He said, we're going to run, too. So, fasten your seatbelts. We're about ready to get it away from the Thomas and Mack Center, where they tell me we're going to have another crowd. Back-to-back, 20,000 fans here. Chick Hearn will be back in a minute with the lineup. Ah, draft beer. It's always been the smoothest, freshest beer around, poured straight from the tap. And now, there's a true draft beer in a bottle. Miller Genuine Draft. It's not heat pasteurized like most bottled beers. It's cold filtered for real draft smoothness. Ask for Miller Genuine Draft, the Miller with the black label. It's beer at its best. Now, on Royal West Airlines, you can fly from Las Vegas to Burbank, LAX, or Ontario for only $39. No advance purchase is necessary, but seats may be limited, so call now, 798-6444. Royal West, non-stop to Burbank, LAX, or Ontario for only $39. Just call your travel agent or Royal West at 798-6444. The fabulous Bally's Grand in the heart of the Las Vegas Strip offers the best in entertainment with two main showrooms. The Ziegfeld Theater features Don Arden's super spectacular Jubilee. It's a kaleidoscope of colorful costumes and incredible production numbers, including the sinking of the Titanic. And appearing right next door in the celebrity room is Wayne Newton. The best in entertainment is yours at Bally's Grand. I'm Grady Sanders, president of Western Vault, one of the largest private vaults in the United States. Where else can you buy peace of mind for 40 cents a day?
At Western Vault Company, we offer a wide selection of safe deposit boxes and vaults designed in the most secure environment available today. Best of all, our clients enjoy the privacy and anonymity they're looking for when protecting their valuables. The Western Vault Company. In Las Vegas, call 796-0933. Home of Deluxe Buffets Night and Day in the Galley Restaurant. Breakfast or Luncheon Buffet, just $2.57. And Gourmet Dinner Buffet featuring Roast Barrel of Beef and Virginia Baked Ham, $3.57. Plus complete menu service. Every day is a holiday at the Holiday Casino Holiday Inn. For UCI, the starting lineup. Up front, it'll be Mike Doc Torsic. And he is 6'8 eight and a half, a sophomore, Kevin Floyd, a 6'5, 200 pound sophomore. At center, Wayne Engelstadt from Rosemead, California, 6'8, 235. And in the backcourt, number 12, averaging 25 points a game. Lathrop, California, 5'11, 165 pound Scott Brooks. Pairing back there with a the transfer from Notre Dame, Joe Buchanan at 6'1, 185. Billy Mulligan, the head coach. Mike Bokoski, Bob Fate, and Tim Murphy are the assistants. Paul Gardikas is the trainer. For the running Rebels, rated number one in the land under Jerry Tarkanian. It's going to be Armand Gilliam starting for the 76th time in 77 games. He is 6'9", forward, averaging 24 and a half. Gerald Patio, 6'8", 195, a junior at the other forward. Davis, Omega Jarvis, Baz Knight at center, 6'8", 190. In the backcourt, Freddie Banks, 6'3", 155, three-point shooter deluxe. And Mark Wade, who handed off for 21 assists in his last game at 6 feet 160. Jerry Tarkanian in his 26th year of coaching, 14 of them here. Tim Gergerich, Mark Warkenstein, and Ralph Readout are the assistants, and Jerry Kolaski is the trainer. Tossing the ball up will be Chuck Camuso, one of our three referees. It's tipped and controlled by the Anteaters. Taking the ball in the front court is Engelstadt. Wayne did not jump, although he will be playing the center position. Out of front to Buchanan, a transfer from Notre Dame, a left-hand 20-foot jumper, two to nothing. Buchanan averaging 21 points a game. Shooting 41% makes an outside jumper look easy. And now with the bottom front guard, Wade. 21 assists in his last game, a school record. Baz Knight brings the ball over to Freddie Banks and banks out to Wade, who will not shoot from there. Baz Knight won't shoot from there either. 18-footer, but Patio will put it up anywhere. Now 18 feet straight out. Baz Knight ties it up with a left-hand jumper. Baz Knight, 6'8", 190, Bourbon Day High. Baz Knight on the year is averaging eight points a game. Now with the ball in the attacking zone, we've got the Buchanan. Pass inside, broken up by Gilliam. It was a Denver angle catch. Now the ball is over to Baz Knight and back to Banks. Cross court. Baz Knight's got a bad pass. Throws it on the floor to save and it's intercepted. And picking the ball up would be Doc Torsey in the front court, Buchanan. Buchanan out in front to a 25-point a game guy, Brooks. Over to the right side, a nice pass. Floyd's got it. Floyd makes a 15-foot jumper. Kevin Floyd, a transfer from Georgetown. Los Angeles product, 6'5", 200-pounder. Did not play last year. Now, patio out to Wade. Wade, two-pointer, three-pointer is good. He was just behind the line. I had to wait to see if his hole was on the line. Mark Wade, I told you, these two clubs average 33 three-point attempts a game. Here's a left-hander by Buchanan from 20. No good, up and over the end of the board, automatically out of bounds. Mark Wade just shot his 14th three-pointer and made his six. Now, somebody's hurt. Baz Knight is hurt down in the corner of the floor over there. We didn't notice that. Referee going over to talk to him. That referee is Scott Thornley. I don't know what he ran into, but he turned his right ankle, obviously. So they bring in immediately David Willard, San Diego, California lad, went to high school in Chula Vista, 6'11", 195, 40 is his number. Wade's got the ball. He surprises with that three-point shot. Bounce at the baseline to Banks. In low, the pass goes, and Gilliam puts it up and didn't get it, but he was fouled. Gilliam fouled. The foul appeared to be on Scott Brooks, the guard who made a jump switch. Score five to score for the MLB. They call it not on Brooks, but on Wayne Engelstad. Wayne started 18 games last year, back in 84 85. The big 6 8, 235 pounder was on the freshman team pack eight. Here is the big man, Gilliam. I mean, he's big in many ways. His free throwing is 69%, which is a little bit of a chink in his armor. He averages nine and eight tenths rebounds a game, and he also averages 24 and a half points. The free throw is good. And is now 6-4 to four after he missed the first one. Full court pressure applied by UNLV, and they're very effective. Let's see how the Abbey is either. 
Can they eat it up or not? With the ball to the attack and going Kevin Floyd. He brings it up at Engel's bat. He throws it out of bounds. Very bad pass. Engelstad is a junior. He's got eight brothers and sisters. He went to bon, Don Bosco Tech High School. Here's Wade with the ball to Willard. Wide open. They're sagging off him on the zone. The ball in low to Gilliam where they're double teaming. And Wade shoots another two-pointer. And that's good. Two-pointer, not three. Two-pointer. That's five points for him. And it's eight to four. Long pass down the floor. Deflected out of bounds on a good transition defensively by Gilliam. The Rebels do it at both ends, folks. You've got to be awfully careful when you're playing them. Waiting for the ball to be brought in by Mike. Doc Dorsett, one of two Doc Dorsett brothers on this team. Doc pass back to him by Buchanan. The shot is blocked by Willard. Taken by Wade. Wade in the front court. Leading 8-4. to four. Over to Banks for a three-pointer. No good. The rebound Engelstad. Up high was Wayne. Big broad-shouldered kid. He gives the ball to Buchanan. Played two years for Digger. Phelps at Notre Dame. Dribble to the baseline. Can't go there because of the defensive structure of patio. Out in front of the jump shot by Floyd. No good from 18. The rebound is to Willard. Willard is a sophomore. Now to Banks, a senior. Banks dribbling has trouble handling the ball. Gives the ball out to the trail man Wade and laid the patio on the simulcast. In low to Gilliam, right hand jumper, a bank, three footer good. 10 to 4 is the score. And UNLV jumps out in front as they usually do. Playing at home, they were defeated here and down at the Anteaters gym last year. Now the ball in low to Engelstad, turn around jumper from 10, in and out, no heart break to Willard on the rebound. Now here comes Wade once more. Wade's got Patio to the right. He takes it in low to Gilliam. Nobody guarding him. So he's going to need some to it up and in. Engelstad was on the wrong foot, and Gilliam easily went by him. 12 to 4 is the score. And we've only played 3 minutes and 17 seconds, and here's traveling called. Traveling against Buchanan. Joe, 6 1 Out of Seattle, Washington. Timeout is called. 3 minutes and 18 seconds gone in the first 20 minutes. UNLV, the nation's number one team, 12. UCI, four, back in a minute. Good to you? Well, wait until you try it at Freddie G's Fish, Steak, and Chops, located on Convention Center Drive across from the Landmark Hotel, formerly Villa Est. Book them at the Circus Circus Race and Sportsbook, the newest action in town. Enjoy the latest state-of-the-art electronic wall boards and computerized wagering system. Watch giant screen TV, live televised horse racing from all major tracks. Winning tickets cash 24 hours a day. Catch your favorite games on 21 TV monitors. Circus Circus Race and Sportsbook open 8.30 a.m. every day. Park free in the adjoining Skyrise Garage, third level. The Skyrise Circus Circus Race and Sportsbook, midway on the Las Vegas Strip. Hi, Mordechai from the jeweler, challenging every jeweler in Las Vegas to match the quality, the price, and the service we offer the jewelers. Men's Seiko Sports 100, retail 225, now 99.99. Ladies Diamond Ring, one carat total weight, retail $1,500, now 599.99. If you find a lower price anywhere for the same quality merchandise, I'll refund double the difference to you in cash. The jewelers, highest quality, guaranteed lowest prices. This year, enjoy exciting Rebel basketball in comfortable fashions found exclusively at Rebel Belia Sports Shop. At Rebel Belia, we carry the only complete line of Rebel clothing and novelty items, including shirts, jackets, hats, and more. Shop where Jerry shops. You'll love our Rebel keychains, posters, and bibs. We've got it all at Rebel Belia Sports Shop, conveniently located at 4700 Maryland Parkway, across from UNLV behind Carlos Murphy's and next to Tower Records. The fabulous Bally's Grand in the heart of the Las Vegas Strip offers the best in entertainment with two main showrooms. The Ziegfeld Theater features Don Arden's super spectacular Jubilee. It's a kaleidoscope of colorful costumes and incredible production numbers, including the sinking of the Titanic. And appearing right next door in the celebrity room is Wayne Newton. The best in entertainment is yours at Bally's Grand. UCLA, or excuse me, UNLV has made five of six shots. UC Irvine has made two of six, but here's what's happened in the last two minutes and three seconds. Four straight misses at the basket by UCI and two turnovers. That means in two minutes and three seconds, UNLV has outscored them 10 to nothing to lead 12 to 4. Here's Wade coming out of the backcourt across the white 10 second line. The Thomas and Mack Center, Las Vegas, Nevada. She'll turn with you, and Wade takes the ball in low to Gilliam. Perfect position, turn, shoot to the counter, goes, it goes. 
No, they call traveling. We thought they were calling a foul on Engelstad. Travel the call for the outside referee, Billy Spooner. So, see if Irvine can take advantage now. Mike Doctor bring the ball in to Engelstad. Engelstad with the ball. Give to Buchanan. Buchanan in the attacking zone against Freddie Banks. Buchanan played for the Irish for two years at North South Bend. Pass in low. Doc Torzik's got it underneath. Put it up and in. Nice play. Good pass by Floyd. Doc Torzik, great position. 12-6. The timeout pays dividends for Bill Mulligan. Now the ball in front of the Keaton Willard. 16-footer good. Willard comes off of the bench and notches his first basket with his first shot of the game. 14-6. Baz Knight turned an ankle. We'll see how badly a little bit later on. I think he's okay. Here's the ball to Buchanan. Buchanan against Wade. In low to angle. Stat comes underneath. The Ruble drive. Puts it up. Blocked by Willard. His second block. Wade's got the ball. Wade goes the other way. 14-6 UNLV. Pass in low to Gilliam. At the baseline, it was fumbled. Dug out in there, but then knocked away from Floyd. Goes to Gilliam. 15-footer. No good. The rebound is over the hand of Patio, and it goes to Banks. Both of them rebels. Out of touch of Wade, and they set up again in the half-court game against the zone defense. Willard, three-point line, takes the Patio. In low to Gilliam. Great position. 10-footer. No good. Rebound. Slam. Dump. Willard. He's two for two. And it's 16 to six. And the running Rebels go back on defense now. We've got Joe Buchanan with it. 6-1, a guard. Good ball handler out of Seattle, Washington, where he was twice an All-American high school player. 15-footer will be too long. Rebound is taken by Patio. He loses the ball. And it's picked up by Buchanan. Buchanan of UCI, University of California, Irvine. Over to Engelstad. He fires from 20. No good. The rebound is off and it's grabbed underneath by Doc Murphy. He throws the ball away to Banks. Banks coming with a man to his left. And that's the Patio. To the right, he gets the stadium and gets the has made three out of five field goals. He's got seven points, and it's 18-6 as the lead widens here. Twice last year, they lost to this UCI club. Jump shot outside, no good, but a foul on Willard. The shot was put up by Mike Doktorzik. Out of the ball game, Kevin Floyd, and out of the ball game, Wayne Engelstadt for the blue clad UCI club. Easy play to call after the ball was just out of his hand. The foul by Willard. Into the ball game now. We get the other Doc Torzik. This is Rob coming in. A sophomore number 22 in white. Baz Knight who turned an ankle comes back in the ball game. And Willard who played very well in relief comes out of the contest. Baz Knight back in. Waiting for the free throw. That is on the way and no good. Remember now we got brothers. Mike. Doc Torzik shooting the free throw. He is number 33. His brother wears jersey number 22. They're 19 and 21 years of age. The elder is at the line. The free throw is good. They've made one for two. That was their first two tries. 18 to 7. Long pass down the floor to Patty. Under the pass the back score. An 80-foot pass on the inbound play. Set it all up. 20 to 7. You cannot be late getting back on defense against the nation's number one team. Buchanan in low. That goes to Rob Doctorzy. Back out to Buchanan. Left hand. Oh, just standing in the line. It was not a three-pointer. A two-point shot from the three-point line. Back fires in a hurry. Basket counts foul. Chance for a four-point play. Incredible. If he misses that shot, Clark is going to be very upset because really it was not a great selection. But he let it go. It was in all the way. And Freddie Banks turns this crowd on. Banks has got five points. Freddie Banks has the points. Now he can make it a four-point play, really. Here's Fred. He went to Valley High here in Las Vegas. On the simulcast, he misses. The rebound is off, and it's taken this time by Rob Doctorzik. He gives to Buchanan. He pushes the ball down the floor, takes it over to Brooks. He's got to start shooting. It went in and out from the three-point area. Brooks, a 22-footer, no good. Averages 25 points a game. Banks gets it back. Down the middle, he comes all the way under. He comes scoop it up, no good. A great try. The rebound is to Mike Doctorzik. A little bit of an acrobatic try by Banks. Great, great effort. Now Doctorzik gives the ball to Buchanan. He's knocked down and out of bounds by Banks. No harm, no foul, no blood, no ambulance, no resuscitation necessary. And Mike Doctorzik is talking to the referee here, Bill Spooner. He said, what do I have to do to get a free throw? The referee says, get fouled. Now Banks goes out limping. Banks leaves the game limping, and coming in to replace him is 32, Gary Graham, out of Dunbar High in Baltimore, Maryland. 
So Banks has hurt his right leg, and I don't know the area. They're looking at it around the camp. Inbound pass under pressure. Wade deflects the ball to the knee of Brooks, and it goes out of bounds. All right, coming with the ball in the attacking zone, Wade. Wade dribbles in deep, goes near the baseline, brings it back to Paznight. Paznight's first name is Jarvis. Now the ball 20 feet to the left side. They give it to Patio, dribble drive underneath, lay it up again. Traveling is called. You can't travel when you're dribbling, so you have to assume that he traveled before he put it on the floor. The bunny hop and the pea patch. 23 to 9, the score. And with a 23 to 9 deficit, number 12, Scott Brooks is going to have to turn it on here. He went to TCU his freshman year, and his sophomore year he went to uh, a junior college. Underneath the ball is put up and by Engelstad, and he scores. Number 30, Wayne. 23 to 11 is the score. And with the ball, Wade left hands it over to Graham. Graham out to Paz Knight, above the three-point line. Wade underneath to Gilliam, right under the basket, double team, and knocked out of bounds. That's a saving play by Mike Hess, who just came on from Corona Del Mar, number 10, 61178. He replaced Buchanan. The inbound pass comes to Patio. Goes to base, 78. That shot, no good. The rebound, Gilliam. Three-footer, no good. The rebound, Engelstadt. Engelstadt for UCI gives the ball to Brooks. Brooks front court. Brooks takes it baseline. And handling it there is Rob Doctorik. And the ball is knocked loose. A free ball dug out by Gilliam. Get him in the front court. Pass knocked out of bounds by hustling Scotty Brooks. He's only 5'11". Believe me, he knows how to hustle. Now they say after Brooks hit it, it ricocheted and made a billiard and went out of bounds to UCI, the Anteaters. Into the ball game, hardworking Eldridge Hudson, player of the year in Los Angeles when he was at Carson. Carson, California lad, 6'6", had a serious, serious knee injury and had surgery and missed a full year. Now with the ball dribbling it is Mike Hess. Sometimes they play a three-guard game, that is Irvine. Hess around his man Graham, in low to Doc Torek. He tries to shoot and he's butchered by Baz Knight. Two shots. 23 to 11, opening game of the PC2A season. Tarkanian has won the regular season title in the PC2A the last four years. No doubt about the foul here as Baz Knight went up and came down and almost strangled him. It's a simulcast, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chick Kern from the Thomas and Mack Center in Las Vegas. At the line, Rob Doc Torzik. D-O-K-T-O-R-Z-Y-K. The free throw makes it 23 to 12. There's the next one. 23 to 13 is the score. 12 and a half minutes left to play in the first half. Baz Knight gets it from Gilliam. The guards haven't handled it yet. Now Wade will, and he gets it from Gilliam. Wade took it along the far the western sideline. Another great crowd here. Now Baz Knight swings the ball over to Graham. Graham dribbles on Hess down the middle. Shoots over Hess from 10. Good shot. Good work. 25-13. He earned that position. Now here is Brooks on the other way. Brooks on Graham. Over to the right side to Hess. High arch. Shot is good for three. A three-pointer. Nice play. Mike Hess. Hess has made four out of eight this year with that one. And it's 25-16. Wade for UNLV gets to Graham. Graham out in front with Baz Knight. Baz Knight over to Hudson. Tries to dribble and he's held. Good call. Holding foul on Rob Doktorzik. Went to Mary Star of the Sea High School. Coming into the ball game. Here's number 41, Frank Woods of Indianapolis. A transfer for Seward Community, Kansas. A junior for UCI as Tark waits his club at the timeout call. 11.48 to play in the half. UNLV leads by nine. Back in a minute. Oh, and Beethoven here neglects to tell us his building doesn't have an elevator. Give me a break, you guys. Hey, Mitchell, what was in the piano? Cement or what? What a fiasco. The keg. That was a good trip. It was the only good idea you had that day. Drinking Miller Genuine Draft will remind you of the best beer you ever had, because it is genuine draft, cold filtered for real draft smoothness. It's beer at its best. I should have hired skilled labor. <laughs> When you rent a car from Avis, it comes with a lot of people who want to make sure you're satisfied. Reservation and counter people, mechanics, managers and maintenance people. They're Avis. You may not always see them, but they're there. 
rent a Cadillac Seville from Avis for only $45 a day. From Samstown with its authentic western atmosphere to the Stardust Hotel and Casino on the fabulous Las Vegas Strip. From the friendly, newly remodeled Fremont Hotel and Casino to downtown's charming California Hotel, Casino, RV Park. We have the best Las Vegas has to offer. Discover the Void Group. We have a style all our own. Everyone has dreams of success, but it's really up to you to get started. With just one phone call to Nevada Gaming Schools, you could be on your way to a new and exciting career in the growing gaming industry. For 14 years, Nevada Gaming School has provided expert personalized training on all casino games and offers free placement assistance worldwide with over 96% placement this year. Call now, 367-1362, Nevada Gaming Schools. Don't keep success waiting. The fabulous Valley's Grand in the heart of the Las Vegas Strip offers the best in entertainment with two main showrooms. The Ziegfeld Theater features Don Arden's super spectacular Jubilee. It's a kaleidoscope of colorful costumes and incredible production numbers, including the sinking of the Titanic. And appearing right next door in the celebrity room is Wayne Newton. The best in entertainment is yours at Valley's Grand. Tonight. 25-16 UNLV. How to defy gravity? Well, first, find a basketball hoop. Secondly, lace a pair of Nike Air Forces on. The Nike Air Forcer is the basketball shoe that was designed to rewrite the laws of gravity. It has the superior cushioning power of Nike Air. So, when you finally do break the law of gravity, you're going to have a much nicer landing. The Nike Air Forcer breaks the law of nature going up and going down. UNLV has made 11 of 17 shots. UCI 6 of 15, 40%. UNLV is at 65%. Now the ball out in front to Baz Knight. Baz Knight down the middle with the dribble. Stop. 10 foot left hand turn away. No good. Great position. He missed an easy shot for him. The rebound is off and is grabbed in there by Frank Woods of Indianapolis. A transfer from a Kansas JC. Brooks is the only man that has the score for Irvine and he averages 25 a game. Down the middle comes Brooks. 15 foot jumper on the way. No. The rebound is off. Taken underneath nicely by Woods. He puts it up. No good. The rebound is off again. Dug out. Fumbled. The arch is made through the leg to Gray. Graham goes to get the ball. Graham in deep pulls up. Now brings it out to Wade. Wade tries his second three-pointer of the game and misses it badly. Off the left side of the rim, it's volleyballed onto the court. Then volleyballed again by Graham into the back door. Well, legally, Wade goes to get it. Good hustle by both teams. You know, uh, I mentioned that um, Brooks hasn't scored yet. He's led them in scoring eight of nine games this year. They've only played nine. There's a jump shot outside by Baz Knight. No good. The rebound is knocked away out of bounds. Last touch by number 41 in the blue, Frank Woods. So Brooks is uh, the guy that's been carrying them a lot of their offense. They average 93.6 a game. UNLV averaged 94.6. The end of the ball game, two men. Freddie Banks, the shorter of the two, and the taller is David Willard, number 40, for UNLV. Wade goes out and Baz Knight goes out. The inbound pass comes to Graham. Over the left side, it goes to Banks. Banks fires for three. It's down. He's made as many as six in the game. The long lead pass all the way down the floor. The half underneath. I think he's going to be traveling. Nope, there's a foul call. The foul preceded the travel. The foul was by Hudson, and the man that he fouled was number 24, Rob Doktorzik. Each club with three team fouls. Ball to come out of bounds, baseline. Taking it out will be Mike Doktorzik. He's 21 years old. His brother's 19. They're both in the lineup now. Handling the ball, Doktorzik lobs it way out in front. Waiting for it out there is Buchanan. Buchanan the southpaw all the way. Buchanan looks inside. Posting up in there is Woods. Buchanan gives instead to Hess at the pace. His 20-footer no good. The rebound is off to Graham. The pass break develops three on two. Graham to Hudson all the way. 30 to 16, the second time they have led by 14. Now dribbling under the pass, and losing the ball. It slipped out of his hands. Woods. The ball is taken by Graham. Another fast break, three on two. Hudson cross court to Banks for three. Good. That's his third one tonight. Down Hess throws the ball away. Banks has got it. And they look like the nation's best team, don't they? Banks front court. Banks cross court it over to Graham. His three pointer. Good. That's five. 
five three-pointers so far in 10 minutes and 18 seconds they've made. 36-16, a 20-point lead. This crowd's going crazy. Doc Torzik from the free throw line is fouled hard. Look out, look out, look out. Eldridge Hudson wants to fight him. I didn't see anything dirty about the play, but maybe I was screened out. The foul is on Hudson. How about those three-point shots going in one after another? Now, there's the shot. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Doc Torzik got him over the shoulder and flung him down. And Eldridge Hudson didn't like it, and probably you wouldn't have either. Tarkanian along the sideline. He won't let Eldridge stay mad. He'll take him out of there and let him cool off if there's any chance of him staying mad. I think maybe what happened is that Rob Tarkanian will be at the free throw line for two. After he was hit on the foul, probably lost his balance and was trying to hang on for support. And the way it turned out, he hit uh, Hudson quite hard over the shoulder with his left arm. Those things happen. Ask me, I saw a fight last night at the forum. The free throws, one good, one no good, the rebound to Gilliam. Now the ball to Graham. Graham down the floor. They're getting them in clusters of three. Graham out of front to Banks. Banks goes to the left side. Banks brings it out to Willard. Willard over to Graham. Graham looks to the post-up man, Gilliam, takes it in there. Down the middle is Willard, the pass deflected. Willard goes to get it. That's a nice play by the 6'11 lad. Now to Gilliam and the 16 footer. Their shooting percentage is fantastic. 38-17, their lead is big. Now here in the first half, the ball goes over to Doc Torrey. Doc Torrey big, puts Hudson in the top drum machine, misses from 22, the rebound is off and a foul. The foul is on Willard. That's a full 15 foul, unless they got it, yeah, 15 foul. Other games in the PC two ways. Cal State Fullerton leading Fresno State in the first half, 34 to 20. Cal State Long Beach and San Jose State. At the half, it's San Jose State by 11, 33-22. I got a final here for you all, so I'll give you in a second. The inbound pass comes to Hess. He took it over the shoulder like an end. Now the ball to Engelstadt. Bounce in low underneath. Nice pass, and Floyd puts it up and in. Nice play. 38-19, UNLV. They lived a whole year with these two defeats that they got last year from this club stinging them. Here's a dribble drive. Graham, pass through the key. Knocked down. Stolen nicely by Floyd. Coming in on Banks. He goes the distance. He lays it up and in. And Banks smartly didn't foul him to add to it. 38-21 to 21 is the score. Banks coming down the floor. Last year, remember, Johnny Rogers had 73 points in two games and 24 rebounds. He's now playing with Sacramento in the NBA. Ball out to Hudson, his 20-footer, no good. rebound is a foul on Willard over the top, 16 foul. And also last year, Todd Murphy had 42 points in the two games and they beat UNLV twice. He was on his way to play pro ball in Italy, tore up a knee, but uh, he'll be getting his chance in the pros before long. 16 fouls. Out of the game goes Gilliam. Adio comes back in. Megan Richard, Robinson Richard, coming in. Adio. Richard Robinson, double zero in white. Buchanan starts down the floor for University of California, Irvine. They lost by a couple of the number four ranked team in the country, Iowa, in the finals of the tournament down there over the weekend. Out of the ball game, Buchanan. Rob Doktorzik comes back into the ball game. The inbound pass comes to Brooke. He is still scoreless. He's only had two shots. But Banks has done a good job on him. There's a three-point shot. That's good. He'll get his. You don't average 25 through nine games and not be doing pretty good. 38 to 24. Despite all the three-point shots, here's the five-second count, and Graham didn't get the ball inbounded. Timeout is called by Tarkanian. 7.53 to play in the first half. UNLV 38. UCI 24. Back in a minute. The restaurant the whole world is talking about is Piero's. Now you can fly directly into Vail, Colorado without the hassle of stopping somewhere else first on Royal West Airlines. Non-stop Royal Jet service from LAX to Vail's own Eagle County Airport, starting as low as $265 round trip. Wednesday and Saturday departures. Royal West Airlines, your non-stop ski lift to Vail. Just call your travel agent or Royal West at 1-800-84-ROYAL. 
Book them at the Circus Circus Race and Sports Book, the newest action in town. Enjoy the latest state-of-the-art electronic wall boards and computerized wagering system. Watch giant screen TV, live televised horse racing from all major tracks. Winning tickets cash 24 hours a day. Catch your favorite games on 21 TV monitors. Circus Circus Race and Sports Book open 8.30 a.m. every day. Park free in the adjoining Skyrise Garage, third level. The Skyrise Circus Circus Race and Sports Book, midway on the Las Vegas Strip. Now's the time for a Honda portable generator. Honda. Power. Anytime. Anywhere. Would you like some more coffee? I'd love some. But don't you think it's a little bright in here? Jim's Fix-It Shop, 603 South Main, 382-2071. Jamaica. It's not Tahiti. And it's certainly not Mazatlan. It's Las Vegas, man. Only at the Tropicana. Come play on the island. KPBU, TV5, Henderson, Las Vegas. UNLV leading 38 to 24, although UNLV has given up the last seven points. The Anteaters come back in the floor. Another final score in the PC2A's opening night of action. Utah State, 77, New Mexico State, 69. Utah State will open on the 8th of January, the Don Brent Event Center on the campus of the University of California, Irvine. Get your tickets for that one. It seats 5,000. It's a beauty. Buchanan's got the ball. That's on the 8th. Bad pass. Who's going to get it? Banks has got it. Here comes Brooks. Banks, the distance scores. Very sloppy passing by the Anteaters and Mulligan. The Irishman's up hollering. Tarkanian on the other side. The Armenian up hollering. It's 40 to 24. Now out of front, Buchanan's got the ball. Buchanan looking inside, and a foul is called. The foul is on Willard. Willard was holding in a play away from the ball. And Willard in the foul department now with th four. Wow. I'm surprised he was in there with three. That is his fourth officially, too. Our statistician do, does a great job, Dennis McCarvey. So into the ball game, Gilliam. Gilliam will be a high pick in the NBA draft this coming year. Shooting 61%, averaging 24 and a half points. At the line is Rob Doctorzy. Free throw, no good. The rebound is up, taken by Richard Robinson. He gives the ball to Wade. He opened the game with an outside jump shot. Now the ball to Robinson, standing in the three-point line, and back to Wade in three-point country. He's one for two three-pointers tonight. He looks inside to Gilliam, a strong post-up man. Robinson takes it to Wade in three-point territory yet. On the simulcast, he goes to the dribble drive with the right hand. He stops and gives the ball to Robinson. Robinson over to Patio. Patio not afraid to unleash. 20 on the 45 second clock. Wade in low to Gilliam and a foul. The foul is pushing on Wayne Engelstad. Senior in high school at Don Bosco Tech. He averaged 24 points and 17 rebounds at number 30 in the blue. Gilliam from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. They call him the hammer. Look at him and you can tell why. He's strong and a very nice young man. Seven minutes to play. The inbound pass to Gilliam. His 10-foot jumper no good. The rebound is off. Gilliam gets away with a foul, and the ball is knocked away and out of bounds. Oh, I don't blame. I don't blame Mulligan for yelling. Gilliam almost beheaded number 23, Buchanan. Coming from behind over the top. I've seen tents that didn't cover that well. 40 to 24 the score. Irvine with the ball. Irvine is the free throw line with Buchanan dribbling. He forces the shot up. It's not close. The rebound volleyball out in front. But it's taken by Wade. He's got Banks to the right. Wade stops. Gives down the middle. Robinson moves with the ball. Here goes Brooks the other way. He turns Wade around. Puts it up and in. On a fast dribble drive. Both teams like to run, don't they? 40 to 26. Wade has the ball. Wade takes the ball over to Freddie Banks. Banks has three three-pointers in the books already tonight. Banks bounced in. An old look pass to Gilliam. It's out of bounds. Last touch by Engelstadt. Into the contest again, number 10, Mike Hess in the blue. Out goes Buchanan. Also in is number 41, Frank Woods. And also coming in to replace his brother is Mike Doctorsi. And the ball is out to Banks. The three-pointer again. It's good again. 
Three-point shots, he's four for four. The most he ever made was six. 43 to 26. The lad with the ball made six this year. I think it was against Nebraska. Out in front, he clears the ball to Frank Woods. Woods bounce in low to Doc Torsic. Doc Torsic holds it up, playing the post against Robinson. Over to Woods. Woods drives the base. He throws a nice pass to Hess for a 12-foot jumper. Too long. The rebound is up. Robert Gilliam. Gilliam's pass is to Patio. Patio hooks it down the middle of Gilliam. Beautifully scores. What a pass. Patio, a transfer. And he comes here from Seminole J.C. Oklahoma. Shot underneath, no good. Rebound saved on the floor by Robinson. Taken by Hess. The 10-footer is good on what we call a garbage play. 45, 28 to score, five and a half to play in the half. Ball over to Banks. Banks has made all four of his three-point shots. He cross-courts it over to Wade. Wade at the free-throw line to Robinson. He's got a shoot. 15-footer. Nobody guarding him, and he missed the shot. The rebound is off, and he's taken in there by Woods. Woods gives the ball to Brooks. Brooks shoots and gets another three-pointer. Brooks. So all of a sudden, he's got eight points. He's two for two from three-point country. 45 to 31. As the Anteaters try to hang close here in the first half. They think they've seen the best of the shooting by the Rebels. Here's a jump shot by Patio. And that is a two-pointer. Clark wants three, doesn't get it. He was standing on the line, apparently. Tarkanian questioning the referee. And they're not giving him three yet, I don't think. Now we got the ball in the front court, belonging to Hess. Hess out in front to uh, number 41, Frank Woods. The referees did not signal three. Frank Woods dribbles in deep, throws it up, and rolls across the iron. No good. A hard shot. Try. Rebound to Gilliam. 48 to 31. Did they give Patio a three-pointer? Yes, they did. The referee did all the way under the score. 31. We go the other way with Brooks and he's fouled in the act of shooting by Gilliam. No doubt about the fact that Gilliam hit the ball flush with his left hand. What he did with his body, his hip and the other hand, is probably what constituted a foul. Now on the last three-pointer scored by UNLV, it was Patio that did it. He's had as many as seven in a game this year, number 23, but not one referee signaled the three-point. Tarkanian did, and they put it on the scoreboard. Fifty to thirty-one. I'm only kidding, but really, not one of the refs called it. Sometimes you can be screened out and can't see things. Don't tell me we need four refs. The free throw by Brooks misses a mile. You know what he's shooting on the year? Eighty-eight percent. He looks very tense to me tonight. That's his forty-fifth free throw. He's made thirty-nine. That's better. And it's now 50 to 32. Brooks, another great scorer, is averaging 25 a game. They'll get there, don't worry about it. In the contest, he's got nine, but he's gonna have to get a lot of them tonight. Now Graham's back in the ball game and he's got the ball. Banks is on the bench. Out of front of Gubbins to Baz Knight. Baz Knight, they call him the athlete. He goes over to the left side to Graham, dribble drive to the base, top 10 footer is on the way, no rebound. Baz Knight, good. Baz Knight's fourth point. He's made two out of four shots. 52 to 32, a 20-point ball game again. Here's a jump shot by Hess at the base. Too long, air ball by one. He shot it from 20. The rebound is on the floor. Grabbing at his angle stat. Bounced the ball beautifully off to Doc Torzik. Doc Torzik gives ball to uh, Brooks. And here is a whistle. And what have we got called a foul? The foul is on Robinson. Double zero. Robinson from Granada Hills, Kennedy High School. He's a junior. Double zero. Red-shirted in 83-84. And Robinson, double-zero, comes over and fouls Engelstad. Into the ball game, Eldridge Hudson, out of the game, Robinson. This is the penalty situation. He's got to make the first to get the second. I'll tell you one thing about Dennis McGarvey. He's a great stat man, but he steals all my pens. He's got a stationary store downtown. The free throw is no good, no bonus. The rebound is off, taken by Patio. Patio clears the ball to Wade, 52 to 32. Wade brings the cross court to Graham, and Graham out of front to back line. Hart's got this club playing under great poise and control this year. There's Wade, three-pointer. In and out, Hart break, rebound, Baz Knight. Up and no. Rebound tipped by Baz Knight, tipped by Engelstadt. Back to Baz Knight, finger rolling up and in. Biggest lead of the ball game, 54 to 32. As we go the other way, there's a foul. Let's see what we got called. The basket counts. The basket does count. And Hess timeout is taken by UNLV. 3:16 to play in the half. 
Interesting halftime for you on our simulcast. UNLV 54-34. Back in a minute. Get the Atlantic difference. 8% money market guaranteed for two months. Call 1-800-4-ATLANTIC or visit your nearest branch. Atlantic Financial. You guys were easy last year. Whoa, whoa, come on, admit it. You cheated. Cheated? Us? That guy was a ringer. No, that guy was a monster. Besides, much good for your complexion. <laughs> hey, and don't forget, we let you share our beer. Remember? That draft beer was unbelievable. That it yeah, was. It sure was. Drinking Miller Genuine Draft will remind you of the best beer you've ever had because it's cold filtered for real draft smoothness. It's beer at its best. Lou? There's money right. <laughs> Welcome to the historical Boulder Dam Hotel. Since 1933, it's been offering quiet luxury to Southern Nevadans and dignitaries from around the world. And today you'll find the same nostalgic charm, a fantastic place to get away with cozy rooms from just $25. And experience our equally enchanting gourmet dining room, featuring some creations found nowhere else. The historical Boulder Dam Hotel, nostalgic luxury from just $25 a night. For reservations, call 293-1808. Hello, I'm Carl Piazza. I hope you're having a happy holiday season, but as you know, unfortunately, all the turkeys aren't on the party tables. Some are driving cars, causing accidents, like this. If someone has ruined your holidays, maybe even your future, let's do something about it, now. We'll help get compensation for the pain and injury you've suffered. My staff and I want to make 1987 a better year for you. Sportsbook at the Las Vegas Club now offers instant payouts 24 hours a day. That's right, 24 hours a day. No waiting, no having to come back the next day. As soon as your favorite sporting event has been completed, your winning ticket can be paid. And don't forget, the Sportsbook at the Las Vegas Club has all the latest odds on all major sporting events every day, plus updated odds on the Major League Pennant Races and World Series, plus Super Bowl 20. One, the Las Vegas Club Sportsbook, free hot and main downtown casino center. Plenty of free validated parking. The crowd has not been announced yet, but here, through seven games at home, they have averaged 17,125. Capacity is given at 18.5, but over the past weekend, they had 19,300 one night and 20,300 another, and I think they got at least 20,000 here tonight. We'll see later on. 54-34. Here we go with Wade handling the ball. Wade dribbling the ball. He is against uh, the senior, Scott Brooks of Lathrop, California. Out to Graham. 20-footer is good. Graham, oh, they're shooting well. That's 23 out of 39 shots, 59%. 23 out of 39 for Vegas. They lead at 56-34. Hess puts it up from 18, no good. A nice rebound. Grabbed out of the night by Baz Knight. Baz Knight to Wade. Wade is falling in the attacking zone. Over to Graham, three-point area. Graham brings in the final cast to Wade, and he swings it over to Patio. Patio's a great three-point shooter, isn't he, though? Another one. One, two, six. That's eight they've made as a team. Eight three-point shots. You think the line isn't too close, folks? All right, here's the ball to the baseline. Buchanan, 20-footer in and out. No, rebound to Baz Knight. However, it's the same distance for both teams. 59 to 34. Wade's got the ball. Wade brings the patio. Patio dribble drive. Down the middle. Baseline to Baz Knight. Back to patio. He's inside, and he traveled with the ball. An eager kid. Transferred here from Seminole, Oklahoma, J.C. Last year there, he averaged 24 points and 9 rebounds. His best game as a Rebel, 26 points. He was a J.C. All-American. Now, Buchanan coming down the floor, behind by 25 points. 59 to 34. Two minutes left to play here in the first half. Ball out of front to Hess. Hess takes it back over, and that is to the other Doc Torix. Dorsey, he missed it. That was Rob. Now the ball, new runner Rebel. Wade to Graham. That's a three-pointer. That's good again. They've made nine. Help! 62 to 34. Long lead. Pass to Doc Torrick underneath. He puts it up too hard. No good. The rebound is to Hudson. Hudson front court. Hudson down the middle. Terminate the dribble and give it out in front to Baz Knight. He makes a three-pointer. We're all going home. Not a Wade. Wade over to Graham. He can do it again. In and out. No from three. The rebound is off. Put up by Patio. No. The rebound to Rob, Doc Torsi. Now Hess, Hess front court takes it over for a three-point shot by Brooks. Yes! Brooks gets his third three-point basket. 
They've got four as a team. The running Rebels, I think I said eight. They're coming so fast now, we're going to have to get a computer. And it's 109 to play, 62 to 37. UNLV is in charge. They trailed four to two, and that was all she wrote. Graham's got the ball. Cross courts it over to Wade. Wade's in three-point country. Wade takes it in to Hudson. Dribble drive. He's checked by the body of Brooks. Gives the Wade. Wade down the middle of Bazline. Hunter's it up. No, that could be a technical foul for hanging on the rim. Let's see what they call. There's a foul on Bazline. I think it'll be a technical foul for hanging on the rim. We'll see. UNLV has got nine three-point baskets. And the opponent has three, four, 13 between them. It's a personal foul. A personal foul. The second call on Baz Knight. You see, I have only four team fouls. The free thrower is going to be Buchanan. He opened the game with a left hand shot from outside for two. Three-point field goals made. UNLV made 11 in a game this year. 11 against Temple. They rallied from about a 20-point halftime deficit beat Temple for the NIT title. And they made 11 three-point shots that night. They've already got nine tonight. Buchanan's free throw. Good. Both good. And it's 62 to 39. 49 seconds left to play. Full court pressure by Irvine here at the end of the first half. Chick Hearn, hoping you're enjoying the simulcast. Pass front court to Eldridge Hudson. Hudson gives the ball to Banks. Banks himself has four three-pointers. In fact, he was fouled on one of them, but missed the free throw. Graham's got the ball out in front. 30 on the 45-second block, and Graham throws it out of bounds. He wanted to pass to Wade. It was just simply a bad pass. 62 to 39. Those are the kind of passes you don't want if you ever get to the final four or get close to the final four. Hart's been there seven times, four with UNLV. Ball in low. And handled by Buchanan, 23 seconds to play in the half foul. The foul is on Gilliam as the ball went in low to Mike, Doc Torsen. This is the anniversary year of uh, a great team that Tark had, 1976-77. They were 29-3. Worked so hard and then got knocked out at the final four by North Carolina in a one-pointer. Jackie Robinson, Reggie Theus, Sam and Robert Smith, just to name four of them. I don't want to name too many or I'll be charged with forgetting somebody, and I certainly would not like to do that. One shot. Waiting for the next free throw by Mike Doctorzik. One good, one no good. The rebound is off. Fumbled away by Gilliam. Picked up by Buchanan. High arch alley oop. No kick up on the net by Woods. No good. And here's the foul by Woods. He tries for the rebound. He fouled Eldridge Hudson. It is the 16 ball. Score 62 to 40. Most points made in a game this year by UNLV 158. 115, I should say. The biggest half, 68 points. Now waiting for the ball to come in, comes to Freddie Banks. 12 seconds left. Freddie comes down the floor. He's guarded by Buchanan. Freddie Banks. Baseline to Wade. Wade bounced the ball along the base to Gray. 15 footer, good. That's a great pass by Wade. Super, the half's over. At the end of the half, a gigantic scoring siege by UNLV, the nation's number one team. The running Rebels, 64. University of California at Irvine, 40. Back with our halftime activities in a minute. Ah, draft beer. It's always been the smoothest, freshest beer around. Poured straight from the tap. And now, there's a true draft beer in a bottle. Miller Genuine Draft. It's not heat pasteurized like most bottled beers. It's cold filtered for real draft smoothness. Ask for Miller Genuine Draft. The Miller with the black label. It's beer at its best. 
Book them at the Circus Circus Race and Sports Book, the newest action in town. Enjoy the latest state-of-the-art electronic wall boards and computerized wagering system. Watch giant screen TV, live televised horse racing from all major tracks. Winning tickets cash 24 hours a day. Catch your favorite games on 21 TV monitors. Circus Circus Race and Sports Book open 8.30 a.m. every day. Park free in the adjoining Skyrise Garage, third level. The Skyrise Circus Circus Race and Sports Book, midway on the Las Vegas Strip. I'm Mordechai from the jeweler, challenging every jeweler in Las Vegas to match the quality, the price, and the service we offer the jewelers. Men's and ladies 14 karat gold nugget rings, men's retail $400, now $129.99. And ladies retail $140, now $44.99. If you find a lower price anywhere for the same quality merchandise, I'll refund double the difference to you in cash. The jewelers, highest quality, guaranteed lowest prices. Three convenient locations. It's a dance celebration. Join Nevada Dance Theater's 15th anniversary season and let your spirit soar. Experience the magic and joy of the classic Coppelia. Fall into the holiday spirit with the Nutcracker and celebrate a fairy tale come true with our new production of Cinderella. All of this is just a phone call away. For season ticket information, call 739-3838. Las Vegas, join us at the Dunes, where America plays. Let us spoil you with the world's friendliest service. The Dunes is the home of the world-famous Comedy Store, presented nightly in the Casino Theater. Or check out our two exciting lounges, including dancing. And remember, we have the best food specials anywhere. Take our complete prime rib dinner for only $4.95. Or feast on our world-famous International Buffet, where lunch is only $3.95 and dinner is only $6.95. All you can eat. It's all at the Dunes, where America plays. The Fall Guy moves to weekday afternoons at 5, beginning January 5th. Three. At halftime, ladies and gentlemen, UNLV 64, University of California, Irvine 40. So there's been a lot of running out here. There's a lot of running these days, too, to the Showboat Casino. Also, the hotel, the country club, and the bowling center. And here is the general manager, Judy Moore. Boy, I'll tell you, you've had a year. We've had a very good year. It's been very good for us at the Showboat. And did it climax the way you expected it at the New Year's time? Oh, my gosh, it climax even more. We opened our New Year's Eve lounge. We opened on schedule. We had a big celebration. It just went perfect. A lot of people, by the way, you renovated the lounge. We built a new lounge. We did an expansion, and it opened on New Year's Eve. That's good. Did they like it? Oh, we had a wonderful time. A lot of people laugh at professional wrestling. I say don't laugh because many people enjoy it to their very souls. And I know you pack in three or 4,000 every time you have a show. Yes, we do. That's probably the biggest drawing thing we have at the showboat is wrestling. The wrestling fans, I told them, I said, don't ever talk about my wrestling fans when you got 20,000 people that act like you and LV fans. <laughs> And your boxing program in ESPN, the top uh, rank boxing, still good. Oh, we have boxing twice a month with top rank and Bob Arum, and it's doing just fine. What is the hardest part of your job, general manager, a woman, a young, beautiful woman, running the showboat, lounge, the hotel, the country club, bowling, wrestling? Are you totally involved? I'm totally involved with everything. Uh, I don't think there's any one thing that's. Uh, you have. You just have to be involved in all of it. There's nothing one area that's a major thing. But don't you, Joyce? More, Judy Moore have to get someone to head up most every section of it that you can depend on? Yes, I have a department head for every section of the hotel and I count on them. They are all pull their weight very much and without them I wouldn't be anything. I understand you've redone the green on the Country Club, 17th Green. That's correct. We reconstructed the 17th Green the end of October. It's coming along very well. The Country Club's looking beautiful. You go out there and you just want to play a round of golf. Can the people get on the course? Yes, they can. Our hotel guests, as long as in the city and uh, any one that wants to play the country club. How many Welcome rooms do you have there? 500. Do you? Yes. Can you stick around a minute? Sure. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Judy Moore, the general manager of the Showboat Hotel, etc. She's coming back with me in a moment. UNLV leading, leading UCI 64 to 40 at halftime. Be right back. Olympiad 
race and sports book only at Caesars Palace. Now, on Royal West Airlines, you can fly from Las Vegas to Burbank, LAX, or Ontario for only $39. No advance purchase is necessary, but seats may be limited, so call now, 798-6444. Royal West, non-stop to Burbank, LAX, or Ontario for only $39. Just call your travel agent or Royal West at 798-6444. Where Fremont Street ends, the excitement begins up down at the Union Plaza. Make tracks to the Union Plaza Diner for eight great round-the-clock specials, such as the Half Pound Deluxe Roundhouse Hamburger, the Tunaville Trolley Milk, Casey Jones Eggs Benedict, and the Streamliner Locale Plate. You'll enjoy the food, but you'll love the low prices in the Union Plaza Diner. The Union Plaza in Las Vegas, where you can live it up in oh so many ways. Live it up. And if you ever have trouble with your bowling, Judy, Judy Moore, can get your lane at the showboat. How many you have? We have 106 bowling lanes. That's incredible. You got the PBA coming in. That's right, we have the PBA coming in the end of the month. Then we have them again in the summer. We have the senior stop and the double stop during the summer. And we have the uh, PBA coming in the end of this month. Let's get back to wrestling. I'm intrigued by it. Do you have to have special security to keep the fans back? Oh, you bet we do. It's, uh, it's, it's, you just have to be it's, there to believe it. It's what? Say it. It's different. <laughs> it's very different. Well, then how come at the end of the month you're going to have a match where you put a big cage in the ring and put four guys in there? Oh, this is a big grudge match. It's been coming on for months, and it's a Midnight Rockers versus a Pretty Boy and a Playboy, and uh, it's a big thing that's been coming on, and they're going to put them in a cage and just let them slug it out. What would you say if I ask you your toughest job, your, your toughest job? Dealing with Mr. Kelly. <laughs> Why? He's a nice guy. He's a very nice guy, but he expects perfection out of all of us. Nothing wrong with that. That's why your hotel's so good. That's right. And you expect perfection, therefore, out of your employees, the people that, under you. That's correct. That's the only way a, an operation can run that smooth. How long have you been in the business? Three years. Three years? What did you do before that? I lived in Texas at that time and was a designer down there. A designer of what? An interior and exterior commercial and uh, home building designer. That's quite a switch. Quite a switch. Do you like uh, Vegas? Very much. It's my home now. Is it at all like Texas? Nothing at all. I live a very fast-paced life now. And back there, it was very mellow, very calm, and uh, very low-key. What time do you go to the office? Around 9 o'clock in the morning, and I get out around, oh, dependable. Sometimes you're there 15 hours, sometimes you're there 10 hours, and sometimes you never go home. Judy Moore, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Judy Moore, ladies and gentlemen, from the Showboat Hotel. She is the general manager, and you can see why things are in good hands, despite whatever you say, Mr. Kelly. We'll be back with more in a minute. Book them at the Circus Circus Race and Sportsbook, the newest action in town. Enjoy the latest state-of-the-art electronic wall boards and computerized wagering system. Watch giant screen TV, live televised horse racing from all major tracks. Winning tickets cash 24 hours a day. Catch your favorite games on 21 TV monitors. Circus Circus Race and Sportsbook open 8.30 a.m. every day. Park free in the adjoining Skyrise Garage, third level. The Skyrise Circus Circus Race and Sportsbook, midway on the Las Vegas Strip. We are extremely proud of our academic support program for basketball players at UNLV. It's among the finest in the country. Under the direction of Dr. Ann Mayo, we have a large staff working one-to-one -one with each of the players. Emphasis is placed upon the development of college-level study skills and career counseling. All six seniors on this year's basketball team are scheduled to graduate this year. UNLV, meeting the challenge of today and tomorrow. 
Now, I, I just turned around for half a second and boom, the whole thing went up. <laughs> Hottest day in the summer, we end up loading that sucker twice. Oh, yeah. Hey, you remember looking old man Donovan's face? <laughs> After that, I never thought he'd bring out that kick like that. That was a good draft. Oh, I remember that beer. Drinking Miller Genuine Draft will remind you of the best beer you've ever had, because it is genuine draft, cold filtered for real draft smoothness. It's beer at its best. Hey, how come Donovan never asked us back? I'm not coming to Las Vegas without saying hello to the president of the University of uh, Las Vegas, and of course I'm talking about Dr. Robert Maxson. Good to see you, Chick. It's a great ball game. It's a heck of a game, and that was an outstanding half that the Running Rebels played. They are not just a good club. They are a distinct and a very legitimate Final Four candidate. I think right at this time, we are the number one team in the nation. You know, uh, teams change, injuries happen, uh, people cool off, but I don't think there's any doubt we're playing as good a basketball as any team in the nation right now. Not only the regulars, but the reserves, too. Well, you get guys like Gary Graham. By the way, Chick, I know you're interested in this. There was a wonderful article in a local paper this week about Gary Graham. Gary, Gary Graham will graduate at the end of this semester and start work on a second major. All six seniors on this basketball team are on schedule for graduation. But Gary Graham has sort of been a, a, a spiritual leader for this ball team. And gosh, you see him like tonight. He, he comes off the bench and, and pours it in. You know. Am I hearing you right? All six of your seniors? All six seniors are on schedule to graduate. Mark Wade changed his major to hotel administration and therefore will probably go into the next semester after he finishes to get it just because he changed his major. I got to run. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chick. Happy New Year. Always good to be with you. Dr. Robert Maxson, ladies and gentlemen, president of the UNLV, back with more in a minute. The Showboat Race and Sports Book is Las Vegas' number one win place and showroom where sports action never stops. From football's opening kickoff through the Super Bowl, you'll catch it all. For the best in hoops, college or NBA, the Showboat is a slam dunk. Check the odds on all of the big fights or follow the ponies all year long at every major track. If it's happening in sports, you'll find it first at Las Vegas' number one win place and showroom. The Showboat Race and Sports Book. My goal is pleasing you. When you rent a car from Avis, it comes with a lot of people who want to make sure you're satisfied. Reservation and counter people, mechanics, managers and maintenance people. They're Avis. You may not always see them, but they're there. Rent a Cadillac Seville from Avis for only $45 a day. Now you can fly directly into Vail, Colorado without the hassle of stopping somewhere else first. On Royal West Airlines, non-stop Royal Jet service from LAX to Vail's own Eagle County Airport, starting as low as $265 round trip. Wednesday and Saturday departures. Royal West Airlines, your non-stop ski lift to Vail. Just call your travel agent or Royal West at 1-800-84-ROYAL. All right, at halftime, 64 to 40. Chick Hearn speaking to you from the Thomas and Mack Center. This used to be the partial home of the Utah Jazz. And speaking of that, they're a great coach. And that outstanding Jazz team of 1986-87 are in Los Angeles tonight. And I hope they're watching the ball game. Frank Layden is the head coach, assisted by Jerry Sloan. And his son, of course, is Scott Layden. And he's up here scouting this game. Some of the stats in the first half of the ball game. UCI, 14 of 38 shots, 37%. That won't get it. UNLV, 27 to 45. That will. Assist, 20 to 5, UNLV. Rebounds, 31 to 14, UNLV. Just a, a totally one-sided game. A while ago when I was mentioning the 76-77 UNLV team that was so good and got into that North Carolina game in the NCAA. One name that I wanted to add to the list was Glenn Gondrasek. Jerry Tarkanian is the head coach, and he's going against his good pal and a great coach in his own right, Billy Mulligan. Brooks, three-pointers, three, S1, 
Patio had four, they say. I don't think that's true. Patio didn't have that many. But anyway, let's go to the basketball game. UNLV made nine out of 12 three-point shots. Suffice to say, that's quite a few. And the man that got most of them was, of course, Banks. Out in front, Buchanan. Bounce in low, giving the angle. Stat, he comes underneath and misses. The rebound is up. Angle Stat wants it, gets it, and puts it up and in. Nice play. Boxing out well on Bazman. And it's 64 to 42. Wade with the ball in the front court. Opening night of PC2A competition. Will there be any competition for the Rebels in the league this year? Many people think that there will, and it'll come when they get on the road. Here's a three-pointer by Patio. That's good. That's their 10th. Their season high is 11. They have now made 10 of 13 in the ballgame. Underneath, shot no good. Rebound, Ingolstadt bounces around no good. Rebound is off, going up to get it, and almost pinning it on the board was Baznight. Baseball pass, front court to Banks. Banks, front court, stops, three-pointer. That's 11. 11 of 14, and down in front of me, Irwin and Susan Malaski going crazy with joy. Now, here's the ball, shot by Brooks, no good from 20, the rebound is off, the Rebels got it. Here comes Wade, down the middle, in deep, stop, ball away, eight foot bank, no good, rebound, taken on the simulcast by Floyd, Floyd in the front court to Brooks, Brooks in deep, around Banks, throws up a right hand jumper, and no bounce, tipped by Baz Knight, but it's taken in there nicely by Scott Torzik, and they steal the ball, Wade does. Wade gives the ball to Banks, Banks front court, whoops the ball over, and Patio's three-pointer, that's good! I don't believe what I'm seeing, but I do know now we got to talk about putting that line back a little bit. These guys are wearing it out. They'll have to change nets before it's over. 73 to 42. And that is a season high three pointers for UNLV. 12 out of 15 they've made. And here with the ball is Kevin Floyd. Pass stolen. Patio's got it. Patio in the ball game, three pointers. Now has a total of four. And a foul back under the basket. The foul appeared to be on Engelstadt. Engelstadt, a junior. And the Rebels take a timeout. We've only played two minutes and seven seconds. I don't see any timeout call here. They announced a timeout, but I don't think so. Bass Knight injured for the second time in the ball game, And the substitution is going to be... Well, let's just see what they're going to do. There's only four men on the floor for UNLV. Now five. Okay, we're ready to go. Baz Knight turned an ankle early in the ball game, and he's out of the game again now. Wade's got the ball. Wade bounced the ball over to Banks. A three-pointer. He's human after all. The rebound is off, taken by Richard Robinson. Robinson brings the ball out in front of Wade. Wade holds it up and gives to Willard. Willard to Patio. Four three-pointers tonight. He made seven in one game this year. Willard! It's a 19-footer. Willard! 19-9, but he got him three. That gets him two. 75-42, in deep, running with the ball, Frank Wood. One thing about the running Rebels, they're playing outstanding defense this year, not just against this club. They beat Navy the other night when Navy was still ranked ninth. That was far higher than Navy should have been ranked, uh, and they beat them by 25. The ball to Banks, that's a three-pointer. That's no good, he missed two in a row. Ball out to Sheriff, rebound to Patio, free throw line, with the 15-footer, Patio. And Patio on the ball game. 14 points. Patio coming into this game, their third best score, averaging 17. Ingo Stad outside for a two-pointer, no good, the rebound underneath, and a foul. The foul is on Patio as Floyd tried to score. One of the most astonishing things to me, because we see so many different types of fouls in so many different sections of the country all year long, mostly, admittedly, at the pro level, but these people don't go home. The crowd tonight... Somebody just handed me a note. Did that have the crowd on it? Number 32, Kevin Floyd. Here's the attendance. 19,058. And there'll be 19,058 when the gun goes off. The throw is no good. Great loyal fan. This is the name of the game. This is the way of life for people that live in Las Vegas. It's incredible, the fever-like pitch. We've seen it in other collegiate gyms. Notre Dame, UCLA. North Carolina, Louisville, you can name them. But boy, oh, here's a bad pass, thrown away, stolen by Bruce. His three-pointer no good, under the basket, we got a foul, and somebody's pushing and shoving. The foul is gonna be called against number 41, I think. Wilson. 41 would be Frank Woods. Nope, they call it on Robinson. Robinson gets the foul. So the ball goes out of bounds to Irvine baseline. 
77 to 42. Ball brought in to Woods. Now out of front is Buchanan. Lobs underneath. For Woods. Get it, Patio does for the Rebels. Wade goes the other way. Navy got beat tonight, by the way. Now down the middle of the ball. Fumbled away by Patio. Picked up on a garbage by Wade. Over to Banks. Banks has missed two shots in a row. Willard's got it. Cross towards the Patio. Patio passed in beautifully. The baseline to Banks. Banks, the little guy. They say he's six feet. I don't know if he is or not. Cross guard to Wade. And here in the lane. A play away from the ball. We got a foul call. Maybe it's on double zero. Robinson again. Navy lost to George Washington tonight, 90 to 83. That was a conference game. 70 to 42. Two losses in a row for Navy. That'll knock them out of the top. Rated teams, probably all the way out of the top 20. Ball out of front comes to Woods. Woods number 41 is a dribble on Willard. And deep on Willard. Ball away bang. It's good, but I don't think it'll count. It goes in. Willard's out of the ball game at five fouls. They're not going to allow the basket. No basket. Willard's gone. Willard was in the game with three fouls in the first half, and I have to think that it was an omission on the bench over there to leave him in with three because they were ahead by 20 at the time. Now we get a note passed down the line that Navy played North Carolina Wilmington, not George Washington. I don't know who they played. Ball is volleyball out of bounds and a block shot by Gilliam. And it goes out of bounds to Engelstad. Engelstad holds it up, 77 to 42, four minutes into the second half. UNLV, after trailing 4 to 2 to start the game, has led all the way. Now we got the ball to Scott Brooks. In three point country, now he's standing on the line. Floyd, Floyd dribbling, he's against Patio. In low to Engelstad. Patio's been a great addition to this club. Out of front to Wood, over to the left side. Buchanan for three, no good rebound underneath Floyd. There there wasn't a white shirted rebel within 100 yards of that one. 77 to 44. And here comes on the simulcast Wade in front of the Tark over there in the far side. The ball given off to Banks. And down the middle we got a foul. Engelstad pushing Gilliam. UNLV has four team fouls. That's two now on Bill Mulligan's University of California Irvine crew. Don't forget, UCI opens the new Don Brent Event Center on the 8th of January against Utah State. Tickets available. Get out and see that game. 77-44 timeout. Back in a minute. Visit the Sportsbook at the Las Vegas Club Hotel and Casino. The Las Vegas Club Sportsbook has all the latest betting odds and information on all major sporting events. Check our 1985 pennant odds as well as the odds for Super Bowl 86. Enjoy watching your favorite sporting events on satellite television from all over the world. For sports action at its very best, come to the congenial Sportsbook at the Las Vegas Club Hotel and Casino, Fremont and Main, Downtown Casino Center. If your car is feeling overweight, sluggish, listless, it could be the unleaded regular gasoline you're using. That's because ordinary regulars are only 87 octane. But now, all cars are discovering the higher octane unleaded regular. 76 unleaded. It's 89 octane. Two octane better than ordinary unleaded regulars. To keep your car fit. And fit is better than fat. The spirit of 76. You guys were easy last year. Whoa, whoa, come on a minute. You cheated. Cheated? Us? That guy was a ringer. No. That guy was a monster. Besides, much good for your complexion. <laughs> hey, and don't forget, we let you share our beer. Remember? That draft beer was unbelievable. That it yeah, was. It sure was. Drinking Miller Genuine Draft will remind you of the best beer you've ever had. Because it's cold filtered for real draft smoothness. It's beer at its best. There's money right. <laughs> Book them at the Circus Circus Race and Sportsbook, the newest action in town. Enjoy the latest state-of-the-art electronic wall boards and computerized wagering system. Watch giant screen TV. Live televised horse racing from all major tracks. Winning tickets cash 24 hours a day. Catch your favorite games on 21 TV monitors. Circus Circus Race and Sportsbook open 8.30 a.m. every day. Park free in the adjoining Skyrise Garage, third level. The Skyrise Circus Circus Race and Sportsbook, midway on the Las Vegas Strip.
77 to 44. A minute ago, I told you Navy got beat tonight by George Washington. That was information passed to us, and we won't say by who. But anyway, we'll correct it and tell you they did not play George Washington tonight. They did play North Carolina Wilmington, and Navy won the game. I have no idea the score. We're trying to get the correction on it for you. I'm sorry. All right, Banks got the ball. 77 to 44. UNLV up by 33. Now the ball over to Wade. Wade 20 assists in his last game. School record breaking Danny Tarkanian's mark at 20. Now Wade out in front. 19,000 looking on. Patio brings to Wade. Over to Banks. Great three-point shooting exhibition here tonight by UNLV. They've got 12. Down the middle of Gilliam. His 10-foot turnaround is good. He's deadly at that, and he'll be good in the pros at that. He posts up. He's 6'9", 230, if you're wondering, Frank. Now with the ball in the front court, Scott Brooks. Down the middle. Oh, that charger block. It is a player control foul against Kevin Floyd. Kevin was going down the lane, but he found Patio's body. 79 to 44. Last year, Irvine beat this club twice, but they had Johnny Rogers get 79 points in those two games. He's now playing with Sacramento in the NBA. Now Wade's got the ball. Gilliam's got it. Out in front of Banks. Remember, UNLV only lost five games all year, so two of them by Irvine. Now Banks takes the ball to Wade. Wade dribbling, holds it up, takes it into Gilliam. He's under there. He puts it up and gets the block and makes it anyway. A defender. Woods hit the ball, but the strength of Gilliam powers at home. Gilliam in the ball game now with 15 against a 24-point average. Now out of front, we got the ball handled up by Hess. Hess dribble drive. That was Woods dribble drive. Shot no good to the rest of the rebound to Robinson. Robinson to Banks in the time of pass. 81 to 44. Front court and Wade underneath to Gilliam. He's there, lay it up and in. 83 to 44. And we go the other way. Brooks has it. Over the left side, clears it off to Floyd. Floyd drives, loses the ball. Wade wants it. Went through his legs. There's going to be a foul call. Foul's going to be a holding foul on Kevin Floyd. Now here is the official score on the Navy game. You can't sink the Navy. Navy 72, North Carolina, Wilmington 52. Thank you, guys. people send bad information. That's like stopping a guy in the street and saying, how do I get to 355 Main Street? He doesn't know, but he points and tells you another way. You wind up in Podunk. All right, here's a jump shot. Pass underneath. And Jennifer Patio, he volleyballed it from Wade's pass, but couldn't get it home. Rebounded off, and taking it as Brooks in low. Nice block shot, Patio, on the attempt by Engelstadt. It's an aggressive, hard-working Rebel team. I've never seen a Rebel team work as hard as this one, ever. And I don't know if I've ever seen a college team work as hard as this one. They go all day and all night. Pass in low, comes to Dr. Torrensic. It's no good. The rebound to Patio. 83 to 44. Not a Wade. Wade down the middle. Little guy. Wade is from San Pedro, California. Played at Bannon. Pass in low to Gilliam. He's double teamed. He shoots an eight-footer air ball. Now on the rebound, we got a foul. That's my. 